Hello YouTubers, and today I'm finally reviewing this which has uh, been sitting beside me for about a month now. This is the Inquisitor and Rani set. So, yeah, I picked this up from P&M, as I said, I think just o over a month ago now, from uh, B&M for $7.99. And, uh, yeah, the main reason I wanted it is because... This is the only way, really, to get a Kato Mara figure. So, unless, you know, character ever do one. Which is possible. It's possible. But, uh, anyway. So, let's take a look at the Inquisitor. So, it's pretty well detailed. Although, the only problem is, is that... One, because of the size, and two, because of the headpiece... The actual likeness itself doesn't come through particularly great. It's not bad. But it does look very, very generic, shall we say. But the rest of the costume and that is pretty good. It, it, I don't know what it is. It just makes the head column piece. I don't know. It looks a, it just looks a bit sort of slimmer than uh, it actually did look in the story. Also, my one, when I took out the box, this one has a bit of paint it's not a chip it's actually a bit of paint on the side there so mm, slightly irritating i'm either gonna i might be able to scrape that off or possibly just use a permanent mark and black it out but uh yeah it's an interesting choice to pair these two really together you know this would make more sense to be paired with either the valyard or sixth doctor or whatever to be honest but uh yeah with the rani it's like a bit of a random choice to be honest so yeah but still it's nice enough anyway let's get on to the case omara and uh yeah it does look like case omara i think it looks better from certain angles i think from the side slightly like that looks but i think in certain angles like this it you know, it can look like basically anyone. I think from certain angles like that, you definitely see Case Omara in there. And the costume itself is really well done, actually. And you know what? Pretty good paint apps on that on it as well. Again, though, with Eagle Moss, it's kind of a bit hit and miss on how good or how bad the paint apps are going to be. It just depends, you know, who was in charge that day. But, uh, yeah, we've even got the little detail of uh, the earrings and that in there as well. And, obviously, her hair. And that stanks as well, the pose. Again, the pose, like, this pose for the Inquisitor, mm, I don't know, it just kind of seems a bit all huddled together type thing. But th this stance, you know, for the Rani, and particularly, obviously, Case Omara's Rani. Yeah, this is what, this is what I think of... When I think of the Rani, this is immediately what I think of. So, good po pose, decent enough likeness for the scale on that, and pretty decent paint apps. So, yeah, uh, pretty good. Although it does look a little bit too shiny in places. In some angles, it does look like she's got a doll's face, I'd say. But, uh, yeah. But uh, putting those two down but if I grab the box here so we've got the box in the background here let's move them out the way so you can see here we've got uh, the magazine and that's in there and uh, information and that on the box which obviously all of us are here to absolutely love and care about um, now I have noticed recently that um, the st at least in the B&M's in my area, that uh, a lot of the B&M's now were mostly, I say mostly, starting to clear out basically whatever stock they bought out um, from uh, Eagle Moss or whoever they were buying it off. So, yeah, um, in terms of getting this set, this might be one of the ones that still is there because I do know of one B&M that had at least one of these in. But, um, yeah, in terms of the previous ones I've reviewed, like, uh, for example, that 8th uh, Dr. Lucy Miller set, yeah. I saw that once, I got that, and I've never seen it at another B&M since. So, 
with these kind of things, yeah, it's kind of a bit hit and miss, and the camera doesn't like to focus on them. I like to focus, there we go, so, yeah, overall though, yeah, I do like these enough, but, um, out of all the ones I've got, yeah, like, to be honest, uh, I would have preferred this just gone as long, to be honest. You know, the Inquisitor's not bad, it's just not really that of an interesting thing, it's just like, oh, okay, there's an extra thing, but, yeah, if you can find this for £8, yeah, I'd say it's worth it. Now, if you have to buy it on eBay and that, uh, yeah, um, this is, you know, maximum, maximum I would pay for something like this would be £15 max, which I think was its original resale price. Any more than that, mm, sorry, no, not worth it uh, in terms of what I think of this, but uh, yeah, for £7, uh, £7.99, even £8 quid. Pretty good price, and uh, yeah, nice to have a key tomorrow. Hopefully, again, one day we'll have one in the five inch character options range because you know, you know, there are some parts in that that you could get close to it close, not exact, but still. But uh, yeah, and there we go.